If you're thinking about using menu boards in your food business, stay tuned and watch this video and I will take you through our top design ideas to help you really grow your revenue through the use of your menu boards. If you'd like to start a food business, a cafe or perhaps a restaurant, make sure you subscribe and every week we will drop new videos based on low cost and no cost strategies to really help your business fire. Hi, I'm Rowena and I'm a food consultant. I'm based in Sydney, Australia and over the years I have helped literally hundreds of cafes, restaurants and other food based businesses really skyrocket their sales. So if you're interested in, in learning all the tips and tricks and strategies based on low cost and no cost uh, strategies to really get your business firing, then stay tuned. We drop new videos every week. When you own a food business, it's absolutely imperative to make as many sales as possible, particularly during the peak periods of lunch and dinner. Now that's when menu boards can be fantastic. They can really speed up the sales process because it allows customers to make quick and easy selections. A lot of people use uh, menu boards in what we call a QSR style format, quick service restaurant, where people stand and queue and uh, place their order at the, at the counter and then the food is often delivered to them after they take a seat, rather than the, the traditional format of full table service. Now we're going to take you through our top tips for making those uh, menu boards really fire and increase sales in your business. What are the best design ideas and how to implement them? Okay, design tip number one is to consider using digital screens. Now digital screens have so many advantages over printed menu boards and chalkboards, and perhaps the greatest advantage would have to be their ease of use. You can change or update the screens quickly and easily without costing you any money at all. So imagine being able to change the your menu on a daily basis or um, implement a new promotion or a meal deal or any other offer directly to your menu without having to get menus reprinted. Now of course with digital screens there is an initial upfront cost. Screens aren't as anywhere near as expensive as they were many years ago and of course you can always buy secondhand screens when you're starting out. There's also very inexpensive menu software that allows you to uh, change and format your menus on your screens directly from your desktop or even your phone. Now that sounds great doesn't it? It is as simple as it sounds. It also means that if you're not happy with a menu item it's not selling well you can delete it without reprinting menus. So my best tip would be consider digi digital screens. Okay, design idea number two is the use of imagery. Now, whenever we use any type of imagery in our food businesses, I'm always referring to professional food photography. Now, the reason why this is important is you don't want something to look unappealing. When it comes to food, people really buy with their eyes. So if you're using menu boards, it's always great to consider the use of professional photography. It speeds up the menu selection process. People can look and see what they're going to get. Now, of course it goes without saying that when they receive their ordered meal the the meal has to represent the image on the board so you've got to make sure that you can actually execute the menu items exactly the way they look in the photography but I tell you what if you don't have food on display in a refrigerator cabinet or in a hot bain-marie it's a great way of de-risking the sale people can see that it looks really appealing and when it comes to food people always buy with their eyes continue why don't you pop your ideas down below in the comment section about what type of menu boards you're currently using and what are some of the design ideas that have worked really well in your food business okay design idea number three is perhaps the most simple but I can't tell you how many people get it wrong the design idea is to ensure that the font or uh, text size on your med menu board is really easy to read. It has to be large enough that customers can easily read it from where they're placing the order. So when they're standing back queuing and they're looking up at the menu board, it has to be really legible. It has to be easy to read. You want people, you don't want to slow, slow down the sales process, you want people to be able to order from a distance so that by the time they're served at the counter, they've already 
already made their selection. Now I can't tell you the number of times I walk into a cafe, a burger place, any food based business and the menu boards they, they use, they might look attractive but the font size is so small you can't read them uh, really quickly and easily until you're right at the top of the queue and even sometimes then I can't read them without putting my glasses on. Now that really doesn't work. So here's a great tip, what you do when you're designing your boards is you get them printed out at real life size and then you pin them or tack them up in place uh, right in the position uh, at your venue where they're going to be located and you stand back where customers are going to be ordering and you check and see if they're easy to read. It's a great way to check whether the font size is large enough because you don't want to make the error of printing it too small, having the investment of hundreds if not thousands of dollars for these professional menu boards to be produced to hang them in location only to find that the font size is too small to read. Now design idea number four is really simple. It's to use different colors to break up the menu into categories. So if your menu board reads from left to right, you need to start at the first meal service of the day. So for a lot of venues it's breakfast, but for some who aren't open for breakfast, it may be lunch. Make it easy for the customers, draw their eyes using different colored panels, or alternatively, different colored uh, fonts and texts. Um, to really make it easy for them to make a selection. Put all the, the breakfast items together, then it might be mid-morning snacks, then it might be lunch, then it might be dinner or drinks. You get the picture. But usually a customer will read left to right, depending on where you are in the world, so make sure it's, it's perfect for your location. But use colors and break up the menu into categories so it's very easy for people to make their selection. Because as we said before, the longer it takes for people to make their selection, you are slowing down the sales per process and when you're in busy peak sales time whether it be breakfast or lunch you need to uh, get customers to pr process their orders as quickly as possible because that impacts your revenue and your bottom line. Now depending on where you are in the world most food businesses are really doing it tough at the moment so if you would like to access our free download on how to support and grow your sales during COVID times make sure you click on the download before to, to access our free copy. Now if you've enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe, press the bell and you'll be notified every time we drop a new video. Thank you very much for watching, we specialise always in low cost and no cost strategies to really get your business firing and we also specialise in helping people's food business dreams come true so get in contact if you need support.